I got a passion for chasing bucks that I can't describe. I absolutely love it. I love bow hunting. I love the chase. I love the challenge. I love everything that goes into targeting a mature whitetail. Welcome to Chasing Bucks, where you learn how to take down your biggest deer. All right, guys, welcome back to Chasing Bucks. If you guys are serious about chasing big bucks, this is the channel for you. We're talking stuff that doesn't cost you a dollar or is super cheap that can enhance any hunting property and make your hunting property stick out above your neighbors that's gonna hold these big bucks come fall. We're talking about red osier dogwood, willows, and aspen trees. Hopefully you got them on your land already. If you don't, you can do cuttings with the willows, cuttings with the dogwood, and the aspen trees spread like crazy with their roots underground. Those three have been out on this property. property. They've grown up naturally. This is just an overgrown pasture and all these things have just come up naturally and turns out the big bucks just love this stuff i've planted switchgrass i plant food plots i plant trees i do all that stuff but i can tell you what if i go to look to buy another farm someday i'm looking for something that's got a bunch of red osier dogwood a bunch of willows and some aspen trees as a bonus they spread like wildfire they get real thick and nasty these create these nice thickets that these big bucks just absolutely love so uh thanks for tuning in guys uh hope you had a good hunt this fall and uh let's get to it um i got a plant identifier app guys it's on your phone um i'll put the link on there i'm learning a lot as well you know and i'm, I'm some trees like the aspen trees look a lot like poplars especially in the winter here but this plant identifier app is pretty good about telling you uh, what kind of tree it is. So if you're, you're taking down some trees this winter, doing some hinge cutting or whatnot, you can look at this uh, plant identifier app and it'll help you out. We're out here gathering up cell cameras for the year, walking through some willows. This is one year of growth. These are some coyote willows. This is what one year of growth looks like, some six footers in here. So we're gonna talk about these and how oh, they don't cost you a fortune like switchgrass or some trees and how they're great buck habitat creating some big buck thickets and help you guys take down that big buck this year so so these willows actually grow in new shoots from their roots so their roots spread underground and they'll they'll grow new shoots and these can grow two to four feet a year super fast growing uh, deer absolutely love browsing on these willows. Uh, they love bedding in them. You get a thicket behind me. I'll show you an aerial of this. I mean, this is a good patch. I got a creek on the backside. This is a great patch of narrow leaf or coyote willows. Lots of species of willows. This is narrow leaf or coyote willows. A great patch where I'd have had just a giant buck bedding in here. So there's a bunch of willows in here. Perfect spot for a big buck to just hide out. And he must have bedded in here. Oh my god. Yeah, he's I'm surrounded by rubs. Oh, and those are some good rubs. I mean this is just thick, nasty willows off the bedding. I mean, perfect spot for a big buck. It all makes sense, but wow, it's awesome. This willow is honest, honestly five feet tall, and I mowed and tilled this uh, plot back in June, and it's January. That's six months of grow, growth, these willows. That's how fast they grow. Mind-blowing to me. Um, and it's great habitat. Look at the new willows coming up down this trail. You can see they're brown. And the old willows are right in there. So their roots are coming out. This used to be ag land. Now it's gonna be prime deer habitat. Uh, HD screening that's falling down back there. Won't even need that once these willows come out. They live 30, 40 years old. They're growing four or five feet a year to block off that house right back there. These willows are gonna come out I won't need HD screening. I won't need to buy a bunch of giant miscanthus. Willows, you can do cuttings, cut them off, put them in the ground, boom, they grow. And look how they spread. Free, guys. Doesn't cost you a dollar. If 
you want to go out looking for some winter projects, spring projects, get some willow cuttings, you can purchase them super cheap as well. If you guys don't have any willows on your property, super cheap dogwood, willow cuttings, uh, purchase some, take them out to your farm where you want some screening, good habitat, you want a real nice thicket off a of food plot for these big bucks to bed in, get some willows out there. Um, provide good browse. Uh, deer do love browsing on them. You can see the deer browse that. I'll take this over switchgrass as well any day. I'll be cutting off some shoots, planting them at the other farm. Uh, buck habitat, big bucks love bedding in, the, in these willows, rubbing on them. And it creates a thicket. It gets really thick. You spread like crazy. I'm gonna show you some rubs in here, guys. It is just thick. I can hardly walk through here. There was some really big bucks. They don't mind walking through here. Really big bucks bedding in here. Nice group of willows. You know, these trees are just shredded. Sandbar willow, coyote willow, narrow leaf willow, what do you, whatever you want to call it. Six feet high already. Absolutely crazy. And so these these uh, willows are spreading out. They're coming out into the milo, into the food plot, and I'm gonna I'm gonna let them grow. Great habitat. Best part about it is it's easy to plant, it's easy to transplant, it's easy to take care of. You don't have to burn it. A lot of benefits. I could go on and on why the, I like this stuff better than switchgrass. Transplant it, take care of it. Because these thickets, these, if you're after big bucks, they love these thickets of dogwood and willows. They love bedding in them in October, November, prime time. So how good is red osier dogwood on a property? Uh, when my grandfather owned the property, he let the neighbor hunt. The neighbors got 100 acres of woods, 250 acres total, I believe, good 100 acres of woods. He shot his biggest buck out of this piece. This is 14 acres, real tiny, small piece. Super thick, nasty, overgrown with red osier dogwood and willows. He shot his biggest buck out of this piece. Um, I think he said the top two bucks, he, bunch of guys do gun drives and stuff used to do gun drives through here and everything and you know out of his hundred acres of woods he said the biggest deer piled in this thick stuff that's why you want thickets of willows dogwood some aspen trees stuff that's going to spread like wildfire if you let a pasture go just let it go naturally i put food plots in i do spruce trees all that other stuff but the three keys in a Honey property like this, why I hold bucks and have such a high success rate is my red osier dogwood, my willows, and my aspen trees. He stayed in this thick stuff. You can see he's got trails all through here. There's trails everywhere. They love this red osier dogwood. They'll push a doe in here and breed her and some bucks fighting in here and they just feel so safe. They love rubbing on it, bedding in it, browsing on it. Uh, this is old and dying woody, but there's new fresh growth as well, the red stuff. But So he was right in here. He won't come out, but I had no shot. You know, I'm watching him, <laughs> watching this 160 class buck in here. I can see him real good, but I had all this dogwood and brushing in the way, so I didn't take the shot, obviously. All right, here's another angle. What do we got behind me? Red osier dogwood and willows, narrow leaf or coyote willows. I plant the switchgrass, guys. I'm not gonna be too hard on switchgrass. You know, it's good, but I will take dogwood and willows over switchgrass any day for deer habitat, especially when it comes to hunting big bucks. Let it spread, guys. I am gonna let that spread versus planting switchgrass. Um, it's doing its thing, it's spreading, I'm just gonna let it go taking cell cameras down we're in january here so i know what bucks made it what bucks didn't i was fortunate enough to put a nice one down and uh thought i'd do an update here of three awesome trees slash shrubs you guys got on your land take care of take good care of them and pay special attention to them, how bucks use them, especially come fall. I'm just showing you guys this deer trail, you know, here's a nice scrape, 
Look at this red osier. Destroyed that little tree. Look at the red osier dogwood. See how that's just all chewed? All chewed up. This whole shrub, they chewed the whole thing. Chewed up. Fresh cuts. And all these smaller ones coming up. Chewed up. Fresh cut. Fresh nibble right there. All this red osier. All right, guys. Quick update. You guys checked out my red osier dogwood video. I transplanted a bunch of uh, mid-size and full-size. This is a mid-size uh, dogwood shrub, and behind me is a full-size. Uh, well, last year, and you can see, you know, this is eight feet tall, and it lived. Transplanted a full-size shrub. All right, well, here we got this dogwood. You know, you don't have to dig them this big. This is probably a 50 pound ball, big ball and burlap. Save myself some work and plant a bigger one. Well, heavier lifting, but not as many trips planting little ones. I wanted to provide a screening. You see that food plot behind me? I wanted to provide a screening with this dogwood when it's leafed out to uh, screen off this food plot. So transplant dogwood that's another nice thing you know you can do the cuttings which I do as well but I got so much dogwood at this farm I can transplant the full size uh, shrubs from one area to another for more screening do that in March or April and uh, works out really well if you need to provide some screening from the road neighbor's house uh, I give you guys all the tips I can on how to improve your properties a small farm, big farm, doesn't matter. I have uh, two small family farms I hunt. I'm just giving you guys some tips and advice on how to create a big buck paradise on your properties. And willows, dogwood, and aspen trees are certainly gonna help hold more deer, which is gonna lead to shooting more big uh, bucks. If you haven't uh, subscribed already, please subscribe to Chasing Bucks. Good luck, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video.